Yes, students, I was discussing with you all the second tool of recombinant DNA technology that is vectors. Vectors should have four features or a plasmid to act as a vector should have four features. The four features were one is origin of replication. Second is selectable marker. Third is the cloning site. And fourth is the size of the vector. Now here origin of replication is already discussed with you all in the previous video. So second is selectable marker. Do remember students selectable marker is the marker to identify the plasmid with desired alien DNA or de desired gene of interest. Now vector should have at least one, see I am focusing at least one selectable marker. Now why selectable marker? I told you to identify the plasmid with the alien DNA. Now which are the selectable markers present in the vectors? They are nothing but they should be the genes. Okay, there are genes which act as a selectable marker and at least there should be one gene which act as a selectable marker. There are several genes which act as a selectable marker. But here I am going to tell you only two which or two genes which act as a selectable marker. The first gene which act as a selectable marker is antibiotic resistance gene. So in a vector there should be antibiotic resistance gene. Now that antibiotic can be penicillin, can be ampicillin, can be tetracycline so and so. But there should be at least one antibiotic resistance gene. And second there should be enzyme producing gene. Now which enzyme producing gene? There is one enzyme called as okay there is one gene called as lec z gene that produces enzyme known as beta galactosidase so there should be at least this or this gene present in a marker or present in a vector to identify the alien dna which is present in the plasmid. For example, there is a plasmid with alien DNA and there is one more plasmid without that alien DNA. So this we call, this particular plasmid is called as transformant plasmid and this, it is A here and this is non transformant plasmid okay so to identify the plasmid with our gene of interest the selectable markers are used how that process i am going to tell you in the next video so this is about the selectable marker the third feature of a vector is cloning site now what is cloning site it is also called as recognition site or it is also called as restriction site. Meaning there is a plasmid, if suppose this is a plasmid, there should be very few restriction sites. There should not be more than two, more than three restriction sites. Why? 
because if suppose in a plasmid there are three or four restriction site so what will happen restriction endonuclease is the enzyme which can cleave or which can cut the plasmid if there are so many recognition site if there are so many cloning site the restriction endonuclease will go and cut the plasmid now if the plasmid is cut at several location the origin suppose there is origin of replication here then this site will be destroyed there are selectable markers here if the restriction endonuclease have cut this position also this will be also destroyed so if there are so many restriction site the process of the recombinant dna technology will become complicated that's why a plasmid should have single preferably single restriction site so that the restriction endonuclease will come will cut that particular segment of dna as a result this segment will be cut okay and the alien gene of interest or the alien dna or the foreign gene can be later ligated to this particular site so remember students plasmid which act as a vector should have restriction site but there should not be more restriction site if there are more restriction site the plasmid will be cut at several location and that entire process of this recombinant dna technology will become complicated so remember it should have only one or two maybe but preferably one restriction site so that particular fragment can be cut same restriction endonuclease will cut the foreign dna and that will be ligated to this recombinant plasmid later and later this recombinant plasmid the enzyme ligase ligase enzyme will join this and this can be introduced into the host organism so now whether the plasmid have the alien dna or not to identify that selectable marker is very essential remember students so this is now called as transformant cell because it has the alien dna okay even if we sometimes even if we place the alien dna if we introduce alien dna to plasmid sometimes it will not accept that so that becomes non transformant plasmid so to identify in the culture plate so there are lot this plasmid later can be introduced into the host cell host cell then can be cultured in a medium and that host cell if it is having that gene of interest or not to identify this for example only this many has this alien dna so in a culture plate the selectable markers will help us to identify whether this plasmid is transformant plasmid or this plasmid is transformant plasmid so remember students selectable markers help to identify the transformant plasmid with that of non transformant plasmid okay so this is about the features of vectors in the next video i'm going to tell you the artificial vector which is produced that is called as pbr322 thank you students